Anyway, it is uh, 8.09, and we're moving along this morning. And as we promised, we have in the house from the Lubbock Symphony Orchestra, the man himself. This is uh, Galen Wixom. And uh, we don't know. We, David must have got lost on his way here. So, <laughs> good morning, Galen. Uh, how are you, Dave? Pull that mic up to oh, you. Okay, Real sure. Close. Here we go. Oh, well, exciting things going on at the symphony. I know Matt took his kids to the Halloween um, concert. I guess it's called a, a concert. Yeah. He won't share the candy with us. No, he won't. He didn't bring any mm, of it. Not to bring any. Did you get enough? Way more than I have four kids, so I mean, oh, yeah, we got mountain. four four buckets full, and <laughs> and he won't share not even oh, a Snicker yeah. bar with us. <laughs> it's it's uh, that was a fun event. Though. We 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 dole it out very slowly. Mm, I know we don't want crazy uh, sugar laden kids. Yeah, exactly. Just FYI, yeah. we received two email uh, text messages from uh, people that said thank you for alerting us about the uh, October. Halloween symphony oh, event that they went and they loved it. Great. Well, was, they are all welcome. We, yeah. we have a great time putting that concert on. I mean, having all those kids and their parents, and we even had adults that didn't have kids and yeah. enjoyed that show very yeah. much. So yeah, we, I, saw, we, I saw some we loved adults putting. walking in, uh, mm-hmm. couples walking in. And uh, you know, the, the one thing I will say is that the kids, um, they can get loud sometimes. And but uh, the the orchestra does not stop at all. I mean, no. they doesn't bother them a bit. They just keep moving on. Um, and it's got to be a totally different feel than the normal concert. I, I think it's just uh, great to have that sort of yeah. unfiltered joy in the house, you know, and, and yeah. have those kids just loving music. And, yeah, and that's what it's all about. What, for yeah, us. exactly. What a great a great time to expose them to to the symphony. Absolutely. Uh, well, it's funny, you know, when David was here right before that concert here on the air with us, we were standing out here in what we'll call our green room and it's all decorated for halloween and i asked david of course david is from he's the, the he's the director of the lubbock symphony orchestra and i asked him and of course he's from south korea mm-hmm. and i asked him i said did you grow up in in korea understanding halloween and he said no he said we had no halloween and so this is all new to him <laughs> he has but embraced he, it though oh but he loved yeah it. he loved it gosh yeah well, well anyway, I, I, well, I wanted to say one other thing, and uh, y'all just had things for kids that uh, every single time there seemed to be kind of a lull, y'all would have the magician would come out, or uh, you had uh, da- uh, David doing the yeehaw, or whatever it was, just something to get the kids involved. Right. So if you didn't go this year and you were thinking about it, make sure you go next year. I don't know if you'll have a Halloween one or not. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. we, yeah, right now it's on the schedule, so that's okay. the plan. So probably, love probably to see you all there. There you go. Yeah. So Well, we're here. that's great. It was a great event. I wish I could have gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're here today to, to talk about what's coming up. Yes. So that people can attend the we do. Lubbock Symphony Orchestra. We have some great concerts coming up this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Uh, we will have a, a, a program that features American music on two ends and Central European music in the middle. So it's it's a real treat. Uh, we have we will start off with Gershwin's very famous American in Paris. Yeah. And it's, everybody loves it. It's funny that. you'd mention that because yeah. my, my wife and I, we're playing cards yesterday, and we, we have learned to talk to uh, uh, our uh, Alexa. Mm-hmm. And we, I said, Alexa, play some Gershwin. Mm-hmm. And it played American in Paris. Perfect. And Perfect. Uh, anyway. What's great about that piece, you know, is it, just, it, it is so descriptive. Oh, I mean, if yeah. you could take a ride in Paris in the 1920s, I mean, I'm just sure that Gershwin nails it. You yeah. know, all the car horns and the bustling traffic and the people yelling. It's just great. Yeah. So, yeah, very descriptive. And then we will have a piece by a uh, rather famous fellow named Brahms. Yeah. And, yeah. And so he, he uh, wrote a sonata, originally from clarinet, but he also said this could be played by viola as well. And uh, we, in the, in the 20th century then, a guy named Berio arranged it uh, for the entire orchestra. So it's going to be a viola sonata arranged for symphony orchestra. So a sonata is usually a piece played by one instrument and a piano. This will be for the whole orchestra. Beautiful. I mean, it is just gorgeous music. We're featuring our violist, our principal violist, Kimberly Spar. She's also the professor of viola at Texas Tech. Oh. Fantastic. One of the best violists, really, I've ever heard, and, and just dives in uh, with gusto, everything she ever plays. So she's fearless, and uh, we will love to hear that. In the second half, then, we will start off with a piece by a Hungarian composer named Zoltan Kodai. Uh, don't say that uh, without parental supervision. Yes. Uh, indeed. Uh, but he was more known as a music 
music educator, uh, developed uh, methods uh, that helped uh, uh, teachers teach music to children. But he's also uh, fascinated with sounds, and he'd go out uh, and, and uh, capture sounds on recorders, and, and, and he, he would just really capture the essence of peasant music in Central Europe. So he was really well known for all of these things. Well, he wrote this work, uh, uh, Dances of Galanta, and it's it's based on peasant dances, folk dances uh, of Central Europe, and you can really hear that. Uh, it, it's probably not as tuneful as, say, Brahms, but still beautiful So music. is it more modern? Uh, yeah, more yeah. more modern. Okay. I would say probably he composed this in the 30s or 40s, mm-hmm. uh, but a really expressive, gorgeous music. We're going to finish with a, a, a music by a guy named Paul Hindemith. And he was a a refugee from Germany when the Nazis uh, took power. And he came to the United States uh, during that time, uh, taught at a university uh, in in the United States. And he wrote some pretty fascinating music. He he was really, I would say, a mathematician term musician or maybe the other way around. He was really fascinating with musical patterns. Um, and so when he wrote this piece called Symphonic Metamorphosis, he was taking a work by Carl Maria von Weber, who's an operatic music, and he was supposed to write an opera, and nobody liked it. And so he said, that, well, the heck, <laughs> heck with you, I'm going to keep this piece, and I'm going to extend it a little bit. So he took all this music, and, and he kind of turned it on its head. So when he says symphonic metamorphosis, he's turning this rather classical-sounding music into something very modern and very, uh, I don't say, rhythmic, rhythmically intricate. And so I don't want to scare people off. It's really fun to listen to. It's energetic, and it's so fun to listen to because it just it just weaves in and out of all these different patterns. So well, I it's, think uh, stuff like that's probably fun for the orchestra to play as well. Oh, it is, it is, and and we have to figure it out. You know, mm-hmm. we have to sit there and, and say, okay, now what did he intend uh, for mm-hmm. to, for us to hear primarily in this piece of uh, part of the music? Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's a really going to be a fun concert, uh, very quick. Fast paced, uh, so I think people should should come out and see it. And uh, that's this weekend, this Friday and Saturday. You have two nights. That's right, seven thirty p.m. at the Civic so Center. So it's either or Friday or Saturday. That's right, both yeah. both nights, and uh, we will have uh, uh, the, everybody there okay. on stage. It's Tickets be available? Yes, sir. They can go to LubbockSymphony.org or call us seven six two one six eight eight. We will take care of them. We have great seats. Mm. Good. Yes. Okay. And then you've got. Uh, uh, bu- 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 bu. You've also got an educational concert coming That's up. right. We have education concerts during the week. On Wednesday, we will uh, have all of our uh, young folks in the fifth grade uh, from the Lubbock Public Schools and surrounding areas. And they visit us across. We have four concerts that day. So we start off at 930 in the morning. And then we bring them in and out on bus. You know, they park their buses, go in and out of the Civic Center. And uh, we fill that hall up. I mean, we were expecting somewhere around Fifty four hundred kids for these concerts, so that's a, a lot of children to serve uh, this week, and we are proud to do it. And our orchestra, they're such good sports to come there and sit uh, for the day. I mean, most of our musicians have day jobs. You know, mm-hmm. they're, they're they're folks in the community just like us, and and they have to take time out of their busy schedules to come and play for us, and they're happy to do that for the children of this community. So it's a really important service for for everyone. Okay. Well, once again, of course, the the pressing issue this weekend, American in Paris. Look forward to seeing you. Friday and Saturday at the uh, Civic Center concert. Where is that? The concert hall? Uh, yeah. How the, many the, is that the, seat, by the way? Uh, 1395. Okay. Yes. I thought it was bigger than that. Well, and, then, well, and of course, we go, we're going to have the Buddy Holly Center. Drove by there just uh, last week. Mm, it's coming along it nicely. It is. It's looking beautiful now, uh-huh. and they've got it all sort of sealed up. I think they've got air conditioning in there finally, and so the workers are really going gangbusters. I think they have around 250, 300 people working there daily. Uh, I haven't taken a tour in there for a long time. Uh, but I'm sure they're really well, coming along fast. That's going to be a state-of-the-art facility. My goodness, done, yes. So oh. we're, we're running out of time, but uh, do you all have one more concert after this for this season? Yeah, well, we'll or have a chamber concert at uh, uh, St. John's United Methodist Church with okay. our brass quintet okay. on December 19th. Uh, and we would love to have everybody there. It's an annual concert that we do, and it is just the brass quintet just does a great job. Okay, yeah, I okay. thought you all had one more on the list. Uh, we do in November, too. We have a chamber concert in uh, November 19th at 
uh, Luca. So uh, that's going to be a very adventurous concert. We, we do things that are strange and, and unusual in that concert, uh, but it's a lot of fun, and people should come and, and explore that new music with us. We'd love to see you. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've been talking with Galen Wixon, who's the CEO of the Lubbock uh, Symphony Orchestra, and uh, always love to have you guys out because you're doing – Oh, it's one, I'll say it again, you know, Lubbock Symphony is one of Lubbock's greatest assets. Thank you so much, and David. LubbockSymphony.org, is that right? That's correct. Uh, is the website. So if you heard anything that you thought would be interesting for you, make sure to go check it out. And then you can see um, after after the new year, y'all are going to have another set of concerts We will up, so start. We'll be up. back to talk to you again. LubbockSymphony.org. Org. There you go. All right, uh, 819 here on KFYL Mornings with Matt and Dave, returning in a moment.